Mr. Evans, this video is going to look at um, uh, how to basically structure analysis paragraphs and 16 mark questions. Um, and you get two 16 mark questions in papers one and two. So, um, really simple um, structure uh, for 16 mark evaluation questions. You define your key term, uh, you would analyze the reasons for analyze reasons against and then the conclusion. This structure works if the question is something along the lines of um, uh, discuss the extent to which um, uh, non-financial motivators have been effective in increasing the profitability of firm X. Um, reasons for and reasons against. They give you one thing to discuss. They might say uh, have financial or non-financial motivators been more effective in leading to profitability, in which case it would be um, financial motivators have been more effective because, uh, non-financial motivators have been more effective because, and a conclusion. Um, and we'll drill down a bit more into those um, paragraphs in a minute. So what is analysis? Well, I covered this in a previous video. It's basically cause and effect, using the case study to build a coherent and logical argument, um, using connectives throughout uh, the paragraph. So what does a good 16 mark question paragraph look like? Well, first of all, we're gonna start off by paraphrasing the question. This shows the examiner that we're answering the question, uh, that we're focused on the demands of the question and we've understood it. We're going to use the case study to support our answer. We're going to build a logical chain of reasoning using connectives, because, leading to, therefore, etc. Um, where this would differ from a nine mark question is we might just want to put a little bit of evaluation uh, at the end of our uh, our analysis. Perhaps a however, you know, this depends on even we could say something along the lines of you know, however, I don't believe this is a strong argument. Uh, I believe this is a very strong argument because, okay, different ways to get evaluation in at the end of the paragraph. Then we want to link back to the question. So let's just have um, a look at an example. So this uh, um, was the Halford case study from the 2016 paper one. Um, do you believe that Halford's operation management decisions are more likely to increase its profitability than the staff training program? Justify your view. So in this case, my definition would be profitability. I just uh, simply define profitability um, as a measure of how effective a business is at turning its uh, revenue into profit. And that's it. I've, I'm going to get straight into answering the question. Uh, I'm not going to bother defining operations management or staff training because I'll be there all day and I'm going to show the examiner that I understand these terms anyway through my answer. So it's a waste of time. Just one definition and then get on with your answer. So this paragraph here that I've written um, uses the case study, hopefully, to uh, analyse why operations management decisions are uh, more likely to increase its profitability than staff training. So I start off with, I believe that operations management decisions are more likely to increase health and profitability than their staff training program. Okay, I'm paraphrasing the question. So I started off by um, showing the examiner that I'm answering the question. Uh, you could even do it a little bit more nuanced than this. Um, you could even say could be, because um, R is, is making a judgment. Could be is a bit more nuanced and, and maybe a bit of a better phrasing there. Uh, okay, but the key thing is I need to explain uh, why. Because Halfords have improved their supply chain. Okay, how do I know that? That is application to the case study. Halfords improved its supply chain. Um, they can now deliver 90% of orders to stores in 90 minutes from... Uh, it's up there somewhere. There you go, 90% of orders delivered to store within 90 minutes. Um, okay, so this question about profitability. Profitability is determined by revenues and costs. So an examiner is going to be looking, looking to the fact that do you understand what profitability is? 
um, in which case you're going to be talking about revenues and costs. So Halfords have improved their supply chain, delivering 90% of orders to stores in 90 minutes. So this is likely to increase revenues. This is important for profitability because uh, Connective it has proven to be popular with customers who will likely use Halfords again in the future. Okay, so it's going to increase revenue in the future. At the same time, both uh, labour productivity and capacity and capacity utilisation have been increased. Um, efforts to increase labour productivity and capacity utilisation. So I'm using the case study. Okay, uh, this means that connective. I'm explaining. I'm building my chain of argument here. Costs like rent and wages are spread over more unit sales and therefore should be lower for each bike sold. Um, so I'm talking about costs. This is answering the question. Um, and if we can cut costs, this which would, connective, boost the profit margin achieved on each unit sold. So this is clearly about profitability. Okay, so here's my uh, little evaluation. Uh, however, okay, so um, what am I gonna say? Halfords have a reputation for low prices. Well, this comes from the case study, reputation for competitive prices, um, and may use these cost savings to reduce their selling price. All right, so if Halfords make these um, cost savings because of, um, the increases in labour productivity and capacity utilisation, um, they might use them to reduce their selling price. Fair enough. In this case, the extent to which Halford's profitability increases, the extent to which, I'm saying, you know, this is an evaluative phrase, would depend on the price elasticity of demand for bikes. Okay? The more price elastic demand for bikes is, the more effective operations management would be in increasing Halford's profitability. I've linked back to the question. It's a bit more nuanced than just saying it's definitely going to happen. It depends on, you know, uh, if Halford to make these cost savings, use them to reduce their selling price. Um, the impact on profitability will depend on how uh, price elastic demand for bikes is. Um, so that is a paragraph um, that I believe would, would uh, tick a lot of boxes in terms of looking for both anal uh, looking for uh, application to the case study, analysis, logical chain of argument um, and evaluation clearly linked back to uh, the question which is on profitability.